So from what I understand, I have to get both Yuzu and Roitaro. Okay, I know his name's Ryotaro, but I've come this far, it's Roitaro. And so they both have to find all three of their mirrors. And then after that you can show them Rinzao and uh Tamaki. The mirror shows ri the mirror shows Rotaro's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mashiro looks. Now that's because he retort. What did I just call him? Well, I've been pronouncing his name wrong the whole time, so I mean, here's what I call him now. Rotaro. Coming to get ya, bud. What? A mirror of mine? So I'll get my memories back y if I go there. All right then, let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but leave me there. Oh okay. yeah. The mirror shows Roy Tara's reflection. It had to be over here, right? There we go. Roy Taro! I found another mirror of yours. Hmm? You found another mirror? That's what I just said. Can they truly be found so quickly? Well, maybe if you stop Dan in there. All right then, let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but lead me there. Right this way. You know, once a chandelier killed me. Many times. Okay, so... Rodaro. Bye, Rodaro. Rodaro, guess what I found? What? Another of my mirrors? The third one. I sense big things coming. All right, then. Let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but leave me there. Let's go, buddy. You know, you've been here once before. But I just have to redo this part. So you have no idea what lies ahead, but I, Mashiro Yusui, do. Kind of. Okay, so now both of them have got into their final mirrors, which means that I think I can show them Renzo and uh, everyone else. And then get the final mirror. Bye, Grandpa! Yeah, that's all. Shall we return to the usual place? Especially after Rinzo's story, I need to talk to you. What? There was a similar place beyond a mirror with Yuzu's memories. I see. You should check there first. We can talk later. Okay, so here's how it gets different. I was tiring getting it all back at once. Oh, if you're going to that, into that room, I'm coming too. I'm curious about it. And it's surely safer. So, I want to find the hidden mirror. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's just go over here. Open the large door? Yeah. Time to skip this. Should we return to the usual place? With Tamaki's story, I've realized something. Huh? Roitaro got his memories back too? Wow, it feels like everything's approaching a singular end. So I think. Does it give me the option to save? Okay, it does. So that's the last ending, but I need to... So file six. So I need to find the hidden mirror. Where's the realm of greenery? Teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. It's not my teddy bear. It's no whose teddy bear, though. Oh, shoot. Looking closely, there's a ladder in the fireplace. Yeah, I'll descend.
There are metal fixtures to display something on. Mishiro put the western sword on the wall. The mirror shows someone's reflection. It's certainly not her. Yet Mishiro felt what she could see in. Let's look. Thirteen years ago, an inn. All that talk about taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? Dots. So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please. Yutsuro is my child. But Sichi told me how you've been seeing the shadow of your father and Yutsuro lately. Oh, is that why she killed her? Saichi. I still don't know how to pronounce the name. Saichi? Sichi? Sichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you've looked so frayed lately. He knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. Dots. Tamaki, the biggest load on your mind, it's art, isn't it? Hitsuro is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Yutsura with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? It'll be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki, but it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What'll happen to Hayato, then? Dots. Nobody's perfect. You don't need to carry everything alone. Especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still, I still want to hold out. I don't want to break up this family of four. Tamaki. Shinji, Chika, I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Just let me try a little longer. Saichi. If the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki, you've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop before it does you in. Right. It's Tamaki in there, isn't it? Dots. Though it was unclear, Mashiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... It's someone's mirror. Okay. Well, that was a cool little secret mirror. It shows how, uh... They were... Um, not they, uh, sh not Shinji either, um, Tamaki was talking about how she went mad, killed her daughter, so I guess that's showing, like, people were warning her and were like, oh hey, just so you know, I think things aren't good and I think you could snap and it's not good. And she was like, it's fine! Okay, now time for this ending. Who do I talk to? I like you best. Say, Mashiro, do you think you can open this door? Sorry, Uncle. You opened that other one, right? I'm sure this one will open for you, too. What do you have to say? You think you can open this big door? Had no trouble with the one in the back of that realm. Surely you can open it if you put your mind to it. Thanks, guys. You guys are real pals. Open the large door. Open it. So, it did open. Now the next path for you to take is clear. You just ended up saving our butts this whole time, huh, Mashiro? Hm. Without you, doubt we would have found any mirrors. 
You have the right to know what I know. In fact, I want you to know. I need to talk to you. I know a thing or two about your parents. I need to tell you some things, too. About who I am and why I'm here, and about Tomaki's daughter. Wait! Who's this? Get. Out. Stop. Don't. Meddle. Anymore. Give back my world. Huh? Run, you two! Through the door! Whoa, it's chasing us? Oh, I was not prepared for a chase. We'll talk later. Just run to somewhere we can hide. Oh. Shoot. I was not prepared for a uh, chase scene. Okay, let's... Hitsuro, stop! Hitsuro! Amigo! Run, 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 run. Whoa, it's chasing. Oh, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, How did you guys get. Oh, I'm not going to question it. Where'd Yutsuro go? Okay. It's, don't make a guy going on 30 run for it. I'm going to die. Me. Looks like we've gotten away for now. Yeah, let's listen. Okay, let's get started. Does this mean I'm gonna have to run again? Ryu, are we safe here? I don't sense her chasing anymore. What in the world was that? I'm about to explain that. I know who that is. Say what? I'm Yuzu Hanasaki. A middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirror Lake, and it made me extremely sad. So I read all these books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife. To die at the same place exactly a year later. It said that would work. Dots. I think it's a different afterlife than what the book meant, but ultimately, I came to this world. But it seems there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and wondered why it was. But I found out now. She was born between a girl and her own father, between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzao Yusui. Her very birth was taboo. That shadow is Yusuro Hinohara. Even as she is, I can clearly I can tell clearly. Because my wish was to meet Yusuro one more time. Yusuro Hinohara. That's Ayato's. But to look the way she does now, I wonder what the story is there. But I can't go away just yet. I need to talk to Yusuro more directly, or my wish won't be considered granted. Give it back. Th that voice! Let's get moving. We can't have a chat now, so run. Okay, can I save first? I guess not. Time for all the screaming. Oh, I can save. So no chatting? Feels like she's gonna keep chasing us. And give back what, anyway? What do you have to say? Cute Sorrel. Uh, no, stop, stop. Why are you fast? Why are you fast? But I'm faster. Oh, no, I probably just jinxed myself to be- <gasps> No! Since when are there dead ends? I'm surprised I survived that. <laughs> I'm reaching my limits. Let me rest a little. She's really stubborn, isn't she? If it were me, I'd have thrown in the towel after all that chasing. Me too, Uncle. Me too. Listen to Roy Taro. Got it. All right. Let's begin. Did we outrun her? 
Seems so. I don't think she's giving chase. I think the goal is close by. Thoughts? I don't know what'll be up ahead, so I just want to get this out. I'm Roitaro Sengoku, younger brother of Chika Sui, Mishiro's mother, and subordinate to her dad, Shinji Sui. You, you Sui. Okay. I knew about you a while back from a New Year's card Sis sent me. To be honest, I found you cute. Not exactly a romantic thing, of course. I was captivated by your latent beauty, I suppose. But when I asked my boss about you, I learned you'd been glum and moping as of late. And I know why. You injured someone in middle school, and Sis kept you shackled ever since. That's right. My boss invited me over to your house, and I was honestly pumped to try and help you. It made me sad to imagine such a beautiful girl moping around. He says without a second of hesitation. No poking fun, no. It's the end. Uh huh? But I died before it happened. We got caught in a fire in a building at work. A fire? Yes, I was with your father. After that, well, it even kind of surprised me. Partly by will, I became a soul and flew around to where you were, apparently. So for the year or so between my death and yours, my spirit was sort of haunting you. What? Oh, but I was hardly even conscious of anything. I just vaguely know that's what happened. Ahem. <clears throat> for you see, ever since I saw your photo, I considered you someone beautiful and worth protecting. So even through death, I had the wish of getting to talk to you at least once. So that was your wish. So it was. Thus, it's been granted. By following you, I wound up in this world, and in this world, my unrealized wish came true. In fact, the moment I became aware of my wish, I felt I could free myself from this world any time. So you're going? Well, I've come this far. I'd like to see out your story to the end. Mishiro, the harsh, yeah, the harsh circumstances you've had, and the fact that you're dead now. I don't feel like it's irrelevant to me. I can't say, don't blame your parents. But I just want you to know, I can't force you to understand or sympathize. But just know, your father worried over and regretted how he was spending less time with you. He wasn't just weighing you and the inheritance on the scale. Your mother was working with their father to obtain proof that the Yisui fortune belonged to them. Maybe she failed to control her strength properly. Maybe she wasn't calm. But she had no ill will, I'm sure. I'm sure after the boss and I died, she endured the sorrow of losing a husband and a brother and fought for her family. Your father and mother might have been clumsy, but they weren't cold-blooded. I just want you to know that. Dots. It's probably too late to say this now, though. Just to say now, though. That's what I meant. It's probably too late to say now. Let's go on ahead. This is a door you're able to open. I'm sure there's something important to you here. Dots. If you're telling me that, then where should my wish to erase my existence go? Let's go. What do you guys have to say, though? My duty's been done. The rest is in your hands. Is Yutsuro chasing you, Miss Cheryl? Why in the world would she do that? Open the large door. Yeah. <laughs> I had to. Huh? Hey! Ayato? Why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. Uh huh? Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? Well, hold on a sec. All the actors are here. Actors? 
Whoa. Huh? This mirror world revolves around you, Mashiro. You hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn to it. She should have gained her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it. Or she should have granted her wish. Because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. That was... Yuturo Hinahara. Yes, she wanders this world even now. Sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world could complete its duty, it chose a new soul to control it. And so, since you carried the same wish, you became the ruler, surpassing the uh, originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy toward you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. Dots. But it's not over just yet. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life. Because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life cannot be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. Dots. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll have never ever existed. Well, never existed. Dots. Mishiro, you're still suffering, huh? You two resemble my sister after all. Even as a soul, you have her same wish. If you do kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. But I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I've overcome a lot of obstacles of coming here. I've looked back on my past and erased it. But is it really right to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. And yet, I've learned that my mom and dad gave their best efforts for me, clumsy as they were. And I know there's a person who valued me, going so far as to come to this world to encourage me. Can I make all of that something that never happened? Thoughts. And that's not all. Seeing Yuzu and Yutsuro, I had a thought. If Yutsuro's life had never existed, what would become of Yuzu's feelings? Desperately turning to black magic, killing herself, and wandering this world for ages, for years. All to finally realize her wish to meet her again. What would become of that? Dots. I'll make the choice to grant that wish or not. But I want Yutsuro to see this out too. Because it's her same wish, and this is her world I inherited. If only in pieces, learning about Yutsuro from the mirrors has fulfilled the mirrors' purpose. Mm -hmm. 
Ayato and Yuzu are both here. With these two, I'm sure we can get Yuzuru's memory back. Indeed. Maybe a little of it. Really? Sister. Mem... Murray? Listen, Yuzuru Hinohara. You ha need to remember your birth, your death, and the one who loved you. Mishiro spoke at length of the things she'd seen and heard in this world. Her mother, Tamaki, her father, Rinzao, the Hinohara family she lived with, Yuzu. She spoke as Yuzuro's mirror, all that she knew. <gasps> Thoughts? I see. I haven't felt this in a long time. Y Yuzuro! Yuzu, you fool. I told you to forget about me if I died. <laughs> well, I couldn't. Is it you, sister? It is Ayato. So even you end up So even you ended up here. Dots. Dots. I didn't intend to hand the world over to you. I was even thinking of killing you to forcibly take back control. Even more so now that I've remembered my wish, I want to erase my mother, my true father, myself. But alas, I've become indebted. It's a fact that if you hadn't been here, my mind would have stayed fragmented forever. Do as you like before I change my mind. Dots. I... my choices. I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Dad's secret distress, Mom's painful effort, even Roy Taro's unusual concern for me. I can't just make it all be gone. And that's not all. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives of the people I knew. And I'll also vanish from Ayato's world. But then what did Ayato die for? What did Tamaki step on the accelerator for? If it were just me, then fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up your wish? I am. Dots. I see you. I, the mere world, accept abandoning the wish. Its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air, like with Yutsuro. So will everyone here vanish? Except for Yamashiro. Huh? To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Huh? Your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. They call it in they called it in right away, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Huh? Mishiro, when your soul leaves here, it'll be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you erased by breaking the mirrors won't come back to you when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual past isn't gone, but your memories of it are. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, but things like meeting me at the lake... Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you leave... Oh. Can you live in a world you've given up on living in once before? Dots. I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protected, Ayato. And by discarding the wish I inherited from Yutsuro, I think it'll honor Yuzu's feelings. I see. That's a relief, then. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish, but you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. 
That's my dream, too. I'll try my best. There are people who value you. There are people who would be sad about your death. It may be a bit warped, admittedly, but I am one of them. The world's not that much of a disappointment, you see. So, I've done my best to encourage you. You're really something, you know. You've really picked yourself back up. You went and learned not only your own wish, but mine, Yuzu's, and Yutsuro's. Old Roitaro Roy won't say much more. Try to get along with Sis when you get back. All right, I'll try to face with her. Thank you, Mashiro. Because of you, I could get my memories and my wish. I learned about Yutsuro's birth and death and got to talk with her once more. I'm satisfied now. I really am. Maybe returning to life won't mean happy things all the time, Mashiro. But I'm sure you can get up and walk again, since you've saved so many people here. Mashiro, leave incense or something at my grave. Think of it like saying hi. Okay, I'll be sure to find your grave. I lost from the moment I broke, I suppose. I won't pull any mischief. I can accept this result. Though I can't say I'm entirely satisfied. Hayato, who adored me as his sister, and Yuzu, who needed me in her life. I'm glad for the fact that I could talk with the two of them one last time. Oh god, so sad. Yet I'll fade away, still resenting that man, Rinzel, that woman, Tamaki. Surely I can be forgiven for that? That's true. Sorry for taking over your world. Dots. She's seven years and it ends like this. As long as the ruler's satisfied, I suppose. Will Yutsuro go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but she'll be free from this world to go wherever she goes. That's good. I say ruler, but you're more of an usurper, technically. Dots. Mishiro. Once you get back and things settle down, you should visit my altar. It's not complete, of course, but I want you to see the painting you modeled for someday. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. And I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. I admit I'm getting kind of teary-eyed. After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I really had been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. My mother was there, looking at me in a way I felt she hadn't in years. Mishiro, you're awake? Thank goodness, oh thank goodness. If I had lost you too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I drove you to this, didn't I? Dots. My mother was shocked by my suicide attempt and apologized for her harsh discipline. My head felt very hazy. I only remember that she was my mother who became very strict at some point. It took a lot just to recognize that as real. And as I thought about it, fear and unease toward my mother came up from the gaps in my memory. But it's okay. Roitaro had told me about the pressure on the Yusuis, and how death had taxed my mother's mind. Now that I was able to accept that, it was easy to hold my mother's hand. My brain had suffered memory loss, and I could no longer remember many past events. I remembered Ayato was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memory of him. Memories of him. But I distinctly remember talking in the mirror world, and felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remember Yuzu and Roitaro too. I'd probably only met them in the mirror world. Mishiro Yusui, is it? Hello, I'm Sichi Hinohara. A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's? Yes, thank you for getting along with Ayato. Saichi Hinohara was Ayato's father, which meant he was 
the one who married Tamaki, and he was the father who Yusuro grew up with. I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but I'm really glad you regained consciousness. The driver who sped toward you and Ayato, she is no longer with us. Her body was found at Mirror Lake, in a car that went up in flames. Oh, dots. He meant Tamaki, his wife. But from Saichi's perspective, it would be impossible for me to know Tamaki. I felt it would be better to stay silent than to confuse him with unnecessary remarks. She was my wife. We met each other at school. She was a humble, art-loving, somewhat naive woman with a radiant smile. Her final sin came at the end of a long sorrow, but I won't ask you to forgive her. Still, if it's alright, could you visit Ayato's grave sometime? Of course. Not only Ayato, but Yutsuro and Tamaki. Now, maybe I could offer them prayers. It feels very nostalgic. I'll look at Ayato's painting. Was that it? Look at the canvas. It might sound sort of t trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream too. <gasps> Ayato Hinohara. Blank dream. Oh! Uh, Ayato. Oh, she's smiling! It's... Oh! She's crying. It's not a dream anymore. Oh, now I'm crying. I've always wanted to go to one of her exhibitions. Sure enough, she carries the blood of the mad genius Rinzao Yusui. I thought I saw the Rinzao touch too, at first, but she's self-taught. It's totally different from Rinzao's art. Huh, I suppose so. How unusual. In her twenties, and climbing so high with her own style. She's not just writing off her ancestor. Rinzao was realistic, while she's more impressionist. That's true. I did feel Mirror World 
was too unusually abstract to be Rinzau's style. Seeing is believing. You can tell the unique mood in her art from a glance. True, true. Now I'm getting really excited to see it. Her most famous masterpiece of all, her... Ending one blank dream. Her fantasy to live in a dream within white canvas. Aww. <sighs> well, that was blank dream. Thank you guys so much for watching. That game truly was amazing. For those of you out there who are contemplating suicide, thinking no one cares, people do care and they truly will miss you. All life is precious and you matter. You might think that you're a waste of space, but you're not. I know things might seem hard right now, but please believe me when I say that they will get better. Healing does take time, and sometimes it does hurt to be healed. But you'll get there. In life, you'll definitely have your ups and downs, and I know that sometimes it might seem as if there are only downs, and it seems like things will not get better, but believe me when I say that they will. Things will get better, even if you don't think so. For those suffering right now, know that you aren't alone, and that people truly do care, and that, and above all, just know that you matter. Please stay strong. Well, that was Blind Dream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.